Hi everybody, this is Janet D, the PT. As a licensed physical therapist, I'm going to talk today about winter dehydration. Yes, it is a real thing, okay? So just like how we fear getting dehydrated in the, in the summertime, guess what? We have to be concerned about this in the winter time too. Okay, so what happens when the temperatures start to come down, right? Our body bodies go into a protective mode. So they're trying to maintain that temperature of 98.6 degrees, right? Well, guess what? In order to maintain that high temp body temperature in a cold environment, guess what? Sometimes your body has to shut off things in order to regulate something else. Well, guess what? The factor for thirst goes down when the temperatures go down. So you can be dehydrated in the winter time and not even know it, okay? But guess what? I'm gonna tell you that there are a couple of signs to look out for for winter dehydration, okay? Signs like darker urine, okay? So it should be kind of like a clear pale yellow. If it's darker than that, guess what? You're dehydrated, okay? If you're tired or dizzy or confused, okay? Signs of dehydration, right? When you get older, if you are dehydrated pretty consistently, which we tend to see in seniors, you will even get a divot right here on the outside of your eyes, kind of in your temple. It will be a little divot, okay? And that is another sign of dehydration. Okay, so why or how does winter dehydration happen? Well, guess what? Okay, so not only are the temperatures going down and your body is saying, hey, let's turn off that, that thirst, right? So that goes down. But also, what are we drinking in the winter time that is different than the summer? Guess what? We're having coffee, hot coffee, hot tea, hot chocolate. Guess what? Those things naturally dehydrate your body. So not, not only is your thirst going down, but what we're trying to supplement is not helping. Okay? The winter air is drier and cooler and then we go into our houses and we have our heat on which is also very dry okay your skin starts to get chapped right and starts to break down well guess what your skin is a window into your own health okay so if you're starting to lick your lips or having dry, cracked hands or feet, guess what? You're dehydrated. Yep, that's, that's the window into your health. Your body's already trying to tell you. Okay, so what are other things that can dehydrate us in the wintertime? Guess what? Doing outdoor activities. Skiing, building the snowman, walking around to see Christmas lights and things like that. Guess what? Then we start to sweat. And then our body actually has to work twice as hard in order to maintain that 98.6 degrees. And so then you're going to get dehydrated faster. Okay. So what are the things that we can do to maintain a better regulation within our body with our water? Guess what? Do, 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 do. You ever see people walking around with these big old water jugs? Okay, so one of the best things that you can do for your health all year round, all year round, is to drink half of your body weight in water every day. Okay, and the best time to give your body the biggest boost of water is first thing in the morning. Because what's the first thing we do when we wake up, right? We go to the bathroom. We're going to be dehydrated. If we're already dehydrated and we go to the bathroom first thing in the morning, 
guess what? We're going to be a little bit more sluggish because our body doesn't have the gasoline or the oil to rev our engines to get going for the day, right? So drinking half of your body weight in water, one of the best things you can do to keep your body hydrated. Okay, drinking water before, during, and after exercise. Okay, and I know, ugh, water is boring. I get it, okay? But you can add in fruit. You can do um, a little bit of those uh, water infusers just to kind of give your body a little, little bit of a boost in order to increase that intake, right? Okay, and then um, always having the bottle. Always having the bottle with you, right? Okay, because if we see it, we're going to do it. Okay, so if your water is near you, you're going to drink it. Simple as that. All right, if you like this video, go ahead and press like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and neighbors. Janet D, the PT.